you know what one of my favorite things is? Ever since I moved from the city to here, it's randomly opening the blinds in the morning. Because when the light floods in and I get to see the skies and trees, that's just one of the best feelings. And when I was younger, I didn't really notice these things, but maybe it's just because I had them that I took them for granted. So I was shopping and I found a couple items that I thought I could upgrade. Now all of these items are pretty special because they are the cheapest items from H&M Home. Not a single one of them costs more than $5. And I'm going to be transforming them. This is the first one up. Just kidding. So do we have any idea what we're going to turn this into? Because if you're anything like me, I thought flip this upside down and it's gonna make a really cool candlestick holder. I mean, with a little addition. So to turn this into a candle holder, I'm actually gonna be using clay to make a little holder piece thing. And fun fact, I have only ever worked with clay once before. I really didn't enjoy it, but that's because I didn't know how to work with it. Recently, I took a pottery class and I figured out all these little techniques for working with clay, like using those sticks to make sure that the thickness was even and how you're even supposed to join the pieces by scoring the ends and all sorts of stuff. I feel like I have such better command over it now and I actually really like it. It reminds me of playing with Play-Doh, which I did used to do as a kid. Okay, so I'm just about to pop this little guy into the oven and I just <laughs> thought of something potentially easier and also would look probably better. Instead of even of building like a candle holder, if I just got like the candle spike and then just like stuck the candle on the spike, it'd already be a candle holder just like that. Maybe I'll try and think if there's something I can like makeshift put together. Even a thumbtack. So anyway, I'm gonna bake this and then we'll see. This little guy is really cute. Okay, it's been like five minutes and just to show you how indecisive I truly am, I just made another one that's about half the height. Might as well just make it now and then I'll be able to pick which one I like more. This literally looks like a ring. Like, look at it, it looks like a ring. So I'm gonna put that in too. Tiny. It's so tiny. No, no. Option one or option two. Excuse how close we are. But between the two options, I was a little bit undecided, but then I asked my husband his opinion. Let's see what he has to say. Parth. The smaller one, I think. Yeah, why? It's below the surface, so it's not really noticeable, and then the candle's still standing. The people have spoken, so I'm gonna go with the shorter one. I think it will give a little bit more of a refined look. I also did entertain painting this gold, and then low-key I did do a little test. You're speaking to the literal queen of indecision, Exhibit A. I did do a test. There you have it. Which means, yes, I did do a third one. I didn't think that the gold was it. So we're gonna do the short one. Okay, so check this out. The candle sits perfectly in here. And just like that, an egg holder turned into a candlestick holder. However, I think it could still be better. Every single time I see an egg holder, I literally remember my Saturday morning breakfasts. And it's funny how such a small thing can trigger back such a beautiful memory. And whilst I do like this one as an egg holder, I have to say it is pretty cute as a candle holder. I actually got some candles from H&M. With one of them, I'm gonna do something fun. With the other one, I'm just gonna use it in this. But oh wait, it doesn't fit right. I'm gonna cut off the end. Cut too much off. But in all seriousness, if you try and tell me that this isn't the cutest candle holder that ever did exist, I will not agree with you. It is so cute. And the fact that you can make this out of literally an old egg holder or one from the thrift store, so cute. I love it with this candle. I'm 
much obsessed with that. That is so adorable. Love it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna be working on is something very unexpected because I've never done this before. I have some napkins and I have an idea with the napkins. What can I say? They were cute and cheap. I don't know how when I saw them, I thought I can turn this into something, but I did. <laughs> and now I have a plan. You wanna see what these napkins are? You are extra special for me. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I am going to be transferring the napkin onto watercolor paper or cardstock. I'm gonna turn this into something beautiful. This is so cheap. It's a pack of napkins. You can get these anywhere, but like these ones, real cute. You could also gift this to some, well, you'll have to just see what I mean. We're ready. And now on to the napkin print. So for this, I did actually do a couple tests before with this exact napkin print, and I found that using the entire print as one sheet was the best option. There are two layers left, so don't make the mistake and not realize that there's three layers of this ply. Anyway, here you are. pretty that even just looks like on wood. I feel like you could add this on wood and it would be so cute in a farmhouse type setting. So if you were wondering how I'm going to transfer the napkin, the secret is Mod Podge. And when I was really young, I did play with this method in play school. So maybe that's what's coming back to me. So I was really not sure how I came up with this idea. I mean, it's not a new idea, but to me, it's an abnormal idea. And then I remembered that when I was four years old, in my play school, we did a craft just like this with Mod Podge, except it was on a glass jar. That looks like crap, but now we roll it. And I kept that jar and I still have it in my possession. So it's pretty interesting how something that you can vaguely remember from the time that you were four years old can come back and inspire you now so many years later. Good genes can save you from cavities, but not gum disease. I need fall. I know that. Oh, I'm learning the to get this from ketchup. So I have my little print. It is so cute. And I picked up one of these little frames from the dollar store, which I thought was cute because it's a frame that doesn't have like a backing, which I thought could look nice against my stone backsplash. Cute, right? My goodness you guys this is so adorable and with so many napkins you could make like a million of them and give them to people or sell them or anything what do you think of the oh we just dropped that by the way and now it has a crack but what did you think of it um i think it's really cool how did you figure out how to do that i just thought of it and then it came to my memory and now it's oh so cute but has a crack like an egg it has a crack yeah because it's etc it's extra <laughs> I can't get over how cute I find that little napkin turn print. It is so adorable. And there are so many opportunities for like what you can do with it. Remember this, my other candle stick. I love this color. But yeah, so I have an idea for this and I am only about 30% sure that I'll be able to figure out how to make it work. But 30% is enough. First, I need to go into my packed storage room that is like cordoned off right now because it's smelling like varnish so bad in there. Recycle your dried roses. So these 
roses have a special little story. These are my dried roses from 2013 when Parth would send me flowers every month for our month anniversaries. Maybe I could take some little bits of a rose or two and like turn them into little bits on the bottom of the candle. Maybe I will sacrifice one petal from this rose, which dried all those years ago. I loved receiving those flowers. It was so special. Let's give it a go. So I saw some videos flattening flowers, that they were fresh flowers, these are dried flowers, crispy considering their age. They'll flatten down, that would be amazing. I really squished the bowl on top and they did flatten. So we're golden, let's carry on with the project. Currently taking a break from doing the candle for dinner. And what are we having? We are having mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom. Yes, and chicken nuggets. Don't judge. Yeah, <laughs> good times. Honestly, it's really good. I haven't had mushroom soup in a while. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. I just need to say that in looking at this candle all finished, it gives me such Rapunzel vibes. I love it so much, it's so cute. And also I wanna say that if you enjoy my videos, it would mean a lot to me if you leave me a comment and also hit the like button. I present to you what I consider to be the most Rapunzel candle that ever did exist. It reminds me of the Disney princess. I don't know what else to say. It's stunning, I love it. Rapunzel, Rapunzel.